So I was asked a question, when building your independence, how should you start? And I'm going to keep it simple just by saying you should start. Um, once you recognize what you want to do, what field you want to go in, when it comes to being an independent welder or starting your independent LLC and getting yourself established, the first thing to do is to say, okay, what field I want to be in. And once you pick what field you want to be in, then start getting your tools on a small scale. Don't go all the way out. I know so many people that spend so much money going and buy new tools that are going to break. It's fine. That's part of the business. So buy used things that's reliable first to get your money up. And then, you know, once you're able to go and buy certain things, go get that. That's fine. But start from a small base and start building your own independence. I would say make sure that you invest in your tools. A lot of times we want to invest in our look. We want to invest in how we ride around or how other people see us when we dress and things like that. And those things are not going to help you when you're in a bind. You need to have your equipment. And what I learned is, as far as an independent businessman, one lesson that I learned that was valuable was to invest in your tools, like to own that and to rent where you lay your head at. I actually own my RV. And this has, <clears throat> this has helped me with my independence as far as being able to find out what I want to do, uh, be flexible. And then, like I say, I'm in Phoenix, so the weather is pretty nice. So it was a good opportunity for me to uh, try this experiment, you know. But I would say that you want to own everything that makes you money. If it makes you money, you want to own it. And everything else that costs you money is a liability, man. You can rent that because you're going to always have to pay for certain things. So try to break the mentality of owning things you should rent and renting things you should own. <laughs> I got a, uh, a cousin of mine that he started a business and he was buying cheap equipment at first. And I was telling him, hey, man, you're going to have to pay X dollars to go and get what you need. That way you don't have to leave the job to go back to town to go buy another part because that broke down and he was doing that so much he realized he was losing money he was like man you know what i should have just bought that good chainsaw or bought that good machine that wasn't that much but i was trying to bend a corner and it ended up biting him in his butt so invest in your right equipment um i'm showing a picture right now standing in front of my welding skid i got it I uh, got my welder covered up because when I'm not using it, I cover it up. And that's another good thing. You know, protect your stuff. If you pay for it, you know, take care of it. It'll last longer. And um, like I say, I built this gear to help me be mobile. And with this setup I got, I can teeth me against it. You know, I can do service calls. I can do commercial jobs. I can do uh, industrial jobs and drop it off to do structural repairs or putting in new steel or whatever, you know what I'm saying, if decks need to be welded down, if studs, if if um, cross members need to be welded in, whatever, you know what I mean, I can be mobile to get, get money on and off the clock, and also I can use it around the shop too if needed, you know, being in Phoenix, being in the open, sometimes I have it right beside a container and I'll be using it while I'm doing the construction, so there's many ways to network, but I would most definitely say invest in your tools, and invest in your tools to be able to be a business and an individual individual your hustle is you know having a resume out there where you can network on your downtime and you can still get money so you know if you're local you can jump in and get a little money here and there ain't nothing wrong with that so invest in that but I always say be a business individual product because after you got your business going you also want to have a product and this is a two-in-one that's a product and it's a business you know what I mean? So you want to be a business individual product. And that way you can't be stopped when you're networking because you can always get money. Just don't spread yourself too thin. So if I would say anything, just um, figure out what field you want to go in and get that one down tight. You know how they say the old saying is, man, I'm a jack of all trades. There's nothing wrong with that. But you got to master something. You got to master something. So master some skill, master some um level that you like to be on master that that way you can be able to know it in and out because that's how you're gonna get your bag all the time hold on